Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Carissa Explains It All, where I vlog and talk about motherhood and all things relating. So if you follow me on my Facebook page, you'll remember at the end of the year last year, I took a poll and I asked you if you guys wanted me to make a video on how I lost the baby weight or how to calm a fussy baby. But today's video is going to be on how I lost the baby weight. So. It's 2019, it's February, it's still early in the year. There's still lots of time for you to make changes if it's the year for you to lose weight. And it doesn't have to be the baby weight, it could just be weight that you've gained over the years. Okay, so I just wrote down some of my notes uh, so that I don't forget what I wanna share with you. So I have lost weight two different ways. I've lost weight by exercise and I have lost weight by diet. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying um, that weight loss is 80% diet, 20% exercise. And when I was losing weight, the exercise route, I didn't really believe that necessarily. I thought that I was working out really, really hard every workout and that um, you know all that effort was gonna count as extra and that I could just continue to eat the same types of foods and you know, the exercise was gonna be enough. And and it did, it worked actually, it worked really well. Um, the first time that I started working out, um, it took me about six months to lose about 37 pounds. So I'll go into more detail about that, but um, the two methods that I have tried is working out and diet. So the most successful for me has been the diet method. It's been the quickest and I saw the fastest results. Motivation for me, the reason that I wanted to lose the baby weight was um, because I wasn't really happy with the way that I looked and I knew that I would feel better and I would fit better in my clothes. So that was the original motivation behind me wanting to lose the baby weight. First time that I started um, to lose the baby weight, I had actually done it um, about six months after I gave birth to my first child, which is my daughter Kaylee. She's now two and a half years old. So I gave birth to her in July and something that everybody tells you is, oh, you know, you're gonna be nursing so the baby weight will come off right away. You're gonna lose all the baby weight you're nursing. Well, I was never told what happens after you give birth when you're nursing, there's a whole new kind of hunger that comes over your body. And all of a sudden you're just constantly eating. I just was constantly hungry and I gained a lot of weight after I gave birth to her. I actually gained more weight after I gave birth than I did during my pregnancy with her. So my motivation was I wanted to feel better and so I wanted to fit into my clothing better and I decided that I needed to take it to an extreme. And I joined CrossFit because I had heard that CrossFit was a really extreme type of exercise program and you know, I just wanted to go for it full force and I joined a women's only CrossFit and I had such a great fun time there. I highly recommend it. Um, I started working out at CrossFit in January and it took me until June of that same year of 28, sorry, uh, 2017. So from January 2017 until June 2017, working out at CrossFit two to three times a week, um, it took me that long to lose 37 pounds. So that's a decent amount of weight. That really is great. Um, I did not change my diet during that time very much. Um, every morning after CrossFit, I would go and get a bagel, and it was a really big bagel, and it was smothered with cream cheese. And then I would make myself a homemade mocha with milk and hazelnut syrup and whipped cream, and that was my breakfast. And then at lunchtime, I would have, I think, salmon with some quinoa. I would mix some basil pesto sauce with that. And then at dinner time, it was pancakes, bacon, eggs, um, meat and potatoes. So all of the yummy, delicious, full of fat, flavorful foods. Um, all of the pregnancy craving foods, all of that. I just continued to eat all of it. And 
Um, I think that is really the reason that my weight loss, um, it was it was great, it was gradual, but I, I think that I could have stepped it up a level if I had also changed my diet some. So I will say that and try and lose about another 10 pounds. Um, I stopped eating the bagels and I stopped drinking the super sugary, full of sugar and milk coffees in the morning. And I got down to 155 and then I got pregnant again with my son Solomon. Talk about method number two for weight loss and that is weight loss through diet and no exercise. Why I decided to go with the diet method this time around um, with losing the baby weight as opposed to doing just to exercise. Um, the reasons that I did that is because number one, I don't really feel like working out until I'm at least two months postpartum because my body's not really, you know, in, in the shape or feeling like, you know, up to doing exercise right away after you give birth. You know, it's really important as a woman um, that we take the time to fully recover after birth. I mean, our bodies have just grown a human being. A very miraculous thing has happened inside of our body and we need time to heal from that and to allow our bodies to go back to the way they need to naturally and it's not something that we should rush into so um, the reason that I did not start working out right away is because I gave birth to him at the end of May I live in Phoenix it's Arizona it's very hot that time of year and I knew that I want to be inside with the cool air, enjoying my baby, and not being out in the heat. Okay, and then so after two months, I had family that was in town, and I knew that them being here, I wasn't going to really feel like running to the gym to work out either. So after I had family in town, I had a surgery that I needed to get done that I'd put off for a long time, and so I had that done. I needed at least six weeks to recover from that. So. I didn't want, you know, I knew that I wasn't going to have be able to work out. And so um, after that time of recovering from the surgery, that six weeks put me right at the holidays. So Thanksgiving, Christmas, and um, again, I just knew that I wouldn't really feel like getting set into a workout routine again that time of year. So I decided that if I was going to lose weight, that I would have to do it through diet alone. And that is exactly what I did this time. So, um, again, um, you know, uh, my motivation in this is that I wanted to get back to feeling like myself again. So, um, I knew that my approach, um, because of the things going on in my life, uh, my... Uh, <laughs> I know, Bubba. My approach was gonna have to be through diet. So, okay, so my husband is watching Solomon right now so I can finish. So one of the tools that I would highly recommend using is the My Fitness Pal app. And that is something that you can download for free onto your phone. And um, what it does is it has all different kinds of foods, probably any kind of food that you could think of eating that you could buy at the grocery store. Um, I think that it has an option where you can scan the barcode. Um, I might be wrong about that, so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, anyhow, you can just um, at least type the name in and it automatically has all of these um, different food items that are saved there. So it will automatically uh, put in the calories and tell you exactly what you're eating every day. So what I did was just start to track exactly what I was eating and trying to figure out how many calories was I actually needing versus, you know, what was extra that I didn't need. Um, you know, something else that motivated me along the way was after I lost the first 20 pounds, and when I say after I lost the first 20 pounds, it really took at least probably three months for that to happen. It feels like in the beginning, the weight is never gonna come off. I mean, you're eating super healthy every single meal. The, those t first 20 pounds are really something that you have to work feels like very very hard for and it feels like it's gonna take a long time to come off but I promise you it will come off and when it does come off that's gonna be your motivation to keep going 
Um, when that first 20 pounds comes off, you are going to feel physically lighter. You're going to feel like a weight has, you know, started to then lift it off of your body. Um, for me, that's how I felt. It was a noticeable change. So for me, after I lost the first 20 pounds, not only was it, you know, a motivation on the scale to see that, but I felt like, okay, you know, this is great. I, I, I this is going to help me, you know, it was just a, an extra piece of, of motivation for me um, was just to feel physically lighter and to be able to feel more agile and to get up and down easier off the floor, if that makes sense. So if that's something that you can relate to, um, leave me a comment in, in the comment section below. Um, something else that I would recommend doing is finding support with like-minded people. So whether that's through social media, Facebook, YouTube, um, any sort of online community, or even if you're somebody who would like to join a program like Weight Watchers and have you know weekly or monthly meetings, I would recommend just getting in touch with people that are also wanting to lose weight because that can help motivate you along the way. A couple of things I want to talk about what not to do while you are trying to lose the weight. Um, I would say definitely do not try and weigh yourself often. That is something that will probably be a big disappointment to you, especially right off the bat, because like I said, it takes about three months to really lose the first 20 pounds. And if you're constantly checking the scale every single day, you're gonna get depressed because you're gonna feel like, okay, I've been eating super healthy, I should be 10 pounds lighter, right? It's been two weeks and I've been killing myself trying to just eat perfectly healthy and I just stepped on the scale and I weigh exactly the same. Okay, that's a very, very, it can just almost be traumatizing, discouraging, depressing, but don't give up because we've all been there. It just takes time for the pounds to start dropping off. But like I said, I promise you, they will. So, um, what not to do, don't weigh yourself often. Um, what else not to do? Don't give up when nothing changes. So, as I mentioned before, you're gonna be weighing yourself it might be you've gone two months and now all of a sudden you've only lost eight pounds or five pounds and you feel like in your mind you should have lost a lot more weight than that, but you will get there and it will eventually happen and it will start to snowball and it will almost seem like it's all happening at once. So don't give up. Okay, another thing, do not invest a lot of money in gym equipment. You do not need any gym equipment at first to start losing weight. You just need to change your diet and any type of exercises that you wanna do, you can just do with nothing you can do literally air squats you could do um, you could get on the floor and you could start to do push-ups um, you could do some jumping jacks there are all types of exercises that you can do with no equipment literally you could google it and find all different types of exercises to do at home this way so do not invest any money in gym equipment it's not necessary okay something else don't look for sympathy from other people, okay? So what do I mean by that? Don't go around, you know, with a with a, just a face that just looks like you're just going through a really difficult time, you know, having a long face and wanting others to sympathize with you because you're super hungry and you're crabby and in a bad mood because all you wanna do is eat a big chocolate cake. Something else not to do. Don't try and make the rest of the family diet with you. So what I did and what worked really well for me is I I chose foods that I really like. I'll get into the details about that a little bit later, but um, for me, I just continued to make the same foods that I cooked before, the pancakes, the eggs, the bacon. I, I cook all of those same foods so that my husband's happy and so that my daughter's happy, and then I just make these simple, easy meals uh, um, on the side for my own personal dinner when I'm eating with the family. So. Let me just share with you what that is. Um, every week I make a batch of homemade granola. So what I'll do in the morning is I take about four or five raspberries, I mash them up in a bowl with some maple syrup, pure 100% maple syrup, and then I take uh, yogurt. I like the Icelandic style um, uh, yogurt, so I'll take that. I'll mix that in with the raspberries and maple syrup mixture and then I put a handful of my homemade granola on top of that. That's what I eat for breakfast every day. Um, for a snack, I'll usually eat a chocolate chip granola bar that I get from Costco. It's just their Costco brand. Um, for lunchtime, what I like to do is get chicken, 
That could be just a chicken breast that I cook up in the Instant Pot. Um, I also like to get, Costco has um, rotisserie chicken, uh, it's like lunch meat that's already sliced up and it's really great, antibiotic free. I'll take about three or four slices of that and um, I'll cook up some green beans, frozen green beans that I get from Costco as well. And I take about a teaspoon of bacon grease that I save from when I make bacon and I'll cook my green beans up in um, the bacon grease with some salt and pepper. And then I'll eat the lunch meat with that. Um, and so that will be my lunch. And then a snack in between uh, lunch and dinner would be um, a couple tablespoons of uh, crunchy peanut butter and uh, an apple sliced up. And then for dinner, what I like to do is um, I like to make chicken in the Instant Pot and then I'll cook a sweet potato in the oven and put some butter on that. And then I'll also get a can of corn and put some, um, a little bit of butter on the corn as well. So I will literally eat that same meal. I mean, I could eat that for months on end. So I know that might be very boring for some people. And if that's not your thing, I totally respect that. But for me, that's what worked to make it easy for my family so that I'm not stressing myself out trying to think of new um, delicious tasty meals. I just found the flavors that I loved. I stuck with the same meals that were easy to prepare for every meal and then um, that's what I've been eating probably for the last eight months. Um, and I won't say that that's the only thing I've eaten. I just try and stick within those guidelines. So I'll switch it up with salads. Uh, for dinner and things like that. Those are just some basic examples for you to go with. What am I gonna do in 2019? I'm going to start enjoying dessert again. I love eating ice cream, so I'm not going to feel guilty about that. Um, I'm also going to start doing CrossFit again. I really miss just being able to, um, you know, have the endorphins going and, and have the just the great feeling of working out and I uh, want to have strong arms and strong legs again and I miss having that feeling. So I'm going to start working out again at CrossFit and um, those are my goals so far for this year as far as maintaining um, you know, my weight loss. So um, if you're somebody who has lost weight, um, you know, gained weight and lost weight with each of your pregnancies um, and you had success at it at it, please leave a comment below for me and let me know what was your method, what worked for you. And I hope that you all are able to take some of these tips um, and use them for your own goals, for your own weight loss goals this year. Like I said, there is nothing about what, I've, what I'm sharing with you that is anything new. It just was really a lot of hard work and a lot of discipline in trying to eat the right food. And for me, it has paid off and I'm very happy about where I'm at. So thank you all so much for watching my channel. I hope that you look forward to my next video coming out, which you all asked for, which is how to calm a fussy baby. So thank you so much. We'll see you soon.